Inside this box is a brand new Rampage Trailview Fastback Soft Top. This is actually something that Cindy and I got months ago, but at the time we had a lot going on and just hadn't been able to find the time to install it since. Or at least, not until now. But it's tough because it's summertime, it's beautiful out. We just took the hard top off of our Jeep. But anybody who knows anything about installing a brand new soft top knows that now is exactly the time to be installing it. In fact, the hotter it is out, the better, as that'll help to soften up the fabric and make it a lot easier to install. And that's why the very first thing I like to do is to open up my fabric and lay it out in the sun. So while that's getting all nice, soft, and buttery, I can go ahead and start assembling the door surrounds. Nice, looks like everything is color coded. Everything for the left side or the driver's side is in a blue package and listed with an L. And everything for the passenger side or the right side is in a clear package with an R. Okay, one more box. This is the trail view frame. All right, now we know where all the pieces are. All right, according to the instructions, we need to be starting on the driver's side. So I will be unpackaging all these blue bags first. All right. Okay, step number one. I'm going to grab one of these front brackets and we're going to get the driver's side front door surround, which I believe is this piece right here. You can tell because it's got the short tuck in piece right here along with this insert. We're going to slide this guy on like that and I believe that piece like that. Okay, this is how it should look like once it's assembled. You can see up here there are three little holes. We're just gonna line up these holes. And then using the hardware provided, there's these little screws. We're gonna go ahead and, these are actually self-tapping screws. Go ahead and install this guy. All right, then on the bottom side, you can see there's two more holes here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab another one of these brackets, the front brackets, and we're gonna slide it on to the back half of this front door surround and line it up with these three holes. And as we did earlier, we're gonna secure it in place using these self-tapping screws. Now we're going to go ahead and flip it over and add two screws down here as well. Stop, stop, 
Alright, now I think we need to grab one of these middle adapters. Let's see, right, left. This is one we want. And we're going to take this and insert it into the back end of the door surround. And we'll take one of these self-tapping screws and use it to secure it in place. Moving right along, we're going to go ahead and grab one of these rear brackets and find the rear door surround, which I believe is this one here. And we can go ahead and slide the bracket on, as you see here. Line it up with these three holes. And as before, we're going to secure it in place with the self-tapping screws provided with the kit. Hey, Flip it over. We're going to add in two more screws here. All right, with that all assembled, we can go ahead and insert it into this middle piece. And then we're going to secure it in place with another one of these self-tapping screws. Once again, we're going to find ourselves a rear bracket. We're going to slide it onto the back of the door surround. Line it up with the three holes again. And secure it in place with self-tapping screws. grab this rear corner piece and install it and only goes in one way and then we'll secure that one in place as well with the self-tapping screw. Alright and finally we're going to get this C-pillar support. Slide this into place and then I believe there's a knob in here knob like this that'll secure that in place actually I think there's one more piece that I need to get installed and it's this one right here this is L for left or driver side this is for the base of the C pillar I believe it only goes in one way like that. And then there's a hole here that will secure in place yet again with a self-tapping screw. And that should be it, at least for the driver's side. All we need to do now is all of this all over again on the passenger side. <laughs> Before we can get the door surrounds installed, I've got to point out that I've got a CB bar installed on our Jeep, and I'm gonna to have to remove this bolt before we can put anything onto the roll bar. We can get all our doors open here. Take the door surround. I'm gonna slip it onto the roll bar. I'm gonna make sure that this peg on the C pillar support is in. Slip in these mounts. And then if you've got a CB bar, you're gonna to wanna to sandwich the bracket in between these brackets right here, just like you would a factory soft top.
All right. So from here, we're gonna take the driver's side mounting plate and you can tell that it is because you've got this shape that fits exactly with the door surrounds and these pegs that are lined up on top. And we're gonna slide it in between this plastic piece but on top of these two metal brackets on the door surrounds, just like you see here. And then we're gonna take this retention strap that they have and we're gonna slide this in between the plastic piece here and the mounting plate. And then we're gonna take two of the medium sized knobs and one of the small knobs. We're gonna take the small, small knob, secure this in place. And then the medium sized knobs for the rest of the door surround. Kind of want to loosely fit them before you tighten everything down. Just make sure everything's lining up and going in right. Once everything is in, you tighten everything down. Okay. All right. So for the rear door surrounds, we're going to use the two longer knobs and tighten these down just loosely to make sure everything's lining up. Once they are, go ahead and secure them all the way down in place. And then repeat on the passenger side. guys right here and the plastic wrap these are gonna be for the tailgate bar perfect let's see this must be the driver side and we're supposed to use one of the factory torx bolts for the hard top so we'll grab a couple of these guys back out this is of course a torx 50 bit One on the passenger side. Okay, so now we're gonna switch out our Torx 50 bit for Torx 40 bit. And then we're gonna grab, I believe it's this one right here. This is the driver side latch, the replacement latch that we're gonna be installing. And we're gonna go over here into our Jeep. All right. So we're gonna pull this out of the way. And there's these felt sticky things on the bottom of these bolts. We need to remove those and then using our Torx 40 bit we're going to remove these two bolts right here. Okay. So now we're going to take our replacement latches. The driver's side you can see the latches far to the left right here and we're going to install it in place using the factory hardware. We just want them on a little bit loose for now just hand tight because we may need to make adjustments later. That's probably good. Okay, again, passenger side bracket. Just gonna install it hand tight again with the factory hardware. We're getting really close now. So this is the tailgate bar. I'll just set this aside for now. Pretty sure we've gone through all the boxes on this top layer. So now I'm anxious. Set this aside. All right. 
As you can see, this is the flip top frame for the trail view. Now we can start working on the soft top. All right. This has been sitting outside for at least an hour and it's feeling nice and hot. Perfect. Let's grab this. Okay. So first things first, I believe this needs to be turned around. Let's expose these little buttons. So now we can take the windshield channel header and slip it into the soft top. And then secure it in place by snapping them in. Okay, next. These channels right here need to be tucked into the edge right here of the frame. I'm sure glad that this was sitting outside. It makes it a lot easier. All right, okay, let's fold this back just a bit. And then we're gonna Velcro these guys. Together. All right, so now we're going to want to take this top, we'll flip it around so that the front of the windshield channel is facing down, and the rest of the top is kind of folded on top of it. This will make it easier to transport and put it on top of our Jeep. But because I know it's gonna be a problem once I move these around, these guys are gonna flop around. So I'm gonna take some blue painter's tape, just kind of tape them together for now. Take off the blue painter's tape. Pull back the arms. All right, as you can see, the mounting plate and mounting bracket that is for the trail view pivot tubes have these bolts and nuts already pre installed. Just hand tight. You can go ahead and remove them now. Set them aside. And then we're going to slide the pivot tubes onto the brackets. This one goes here, and this one goes here. And then if you look right here, there's actually a little hex, kind of a countersunk hex hole in there. We're gonna take our nut, slip it inside, like so. Then we're gonna take our bolt, come from the opposite side, and then thread it in. Same with this one here. Take our nut, Slip it into the hole, a bolt. Okay. Now, Rampage provides these little Allen wrenches to tighten them up. So now you want to make sure that the windshield header channel is aligned with the windshield itself. 
Looks good. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and connect the latch onto the windshield header channel. And as you can see, actually, it rotates in and out for fine tune adjustment. You can hook it on, snap it in place. With that on, we're gonna take our Torx 40 bit and tighten up these bolts now. Okay. Okay, same deal. Pull that out. Okay, that one seemed kind of loose, so I'm gonna turn this one in just a bit. Hook and latch. And actually, over time, running the soft top, with heat and just wear, it might get a little looser. Again, you can just make these fine tuned adjustments right here at the latch. Latch that on, tighten everything in place. Okay. All right, so now we can go ahead and secure the soft top to the sound bar. And there are these uh, brackets that are actually designed for the Freedom Top panel to latch onto. And I don't know if you can see it or not, I'm sticking my finger through a hole in it. But we're gonna take these straps toward the back. Then we're gonna bring them back around and hook them into that hole right here. And then tighten the straps. Same deal here. So just like any safari top or bikini top, this thing is gonna to need to be strapped to the corner of the roll bar. And these straps are long for a reason. We're gonna loop it around the seat belt bolt right here. Bring it back up. Feed it through here. Okay, I'm just gonna put that loose for now so I can get the other side. Same deal here, around the bolt. Feed it through. Let's tighten up the other side a little bit. Perfect. Okay. These should be the windows. All right, that's what we need. Let's grab all the windows. And throw these up on top of the roof just so they get softened up in the sun. Get the rear window too. All right, so now there's a reason why I left the whole soft top untucked, and that's so that I could get all the soft top windows installed. It's almost impossible to do otherwise. So I'm gonna start off with the driver's side window. And all we're gonna do is get the zipper on the top part where the roof attaches to the side windows started. Right. Zip it in like that. Walk over to the passenger side. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing over here. Zipper started. Leave that loose. Then we're going to take the rear window, flap this part back. And as you can see, there is a hook and loop or Velcro strip right here. And on the rear window, you have the same thing. One side's the hooks, one side's the loops. We're going to make sure that the hooks are facing the loops on the roof. And what we're going to do is start this zipper like this. Just a little bit. Everything's nice and loose. We're gonna come across. Do the same over here. Just get it started. Now we're just gonna attach this loosely 
to the Velcro. And we'll come back to all these straps after we get everything else secured. All right, open up this door. You can see there's a door channel right here. We're gonna just start tucking this window into it. And then we're gonna tuck this into the body. If I lift it out in the sun a little bit longer, it probably would have done better. We're gonna leave that loose for now. Do the same thing on this side. Tuck in. There, this side's much easier. It's been in the sun. Going in my butter. Looks like this is the tailgate bar. Now this seems a lot more complicated than needs to be, but this is a first time install. So everything's really tight. That's why we're out in the sun and that's why we're doing it in stages, just to make sure everything goes on nice and neatly. In the future, you could take off your windows and just run it as a safari top. It'll be a lot easier to do. We're gonna go ahead and slide this in. And then we can go ahead and tuck these into the channels right here. Perfect. Zip it down. Zip it down. Now we can go ahead and finish tucking in the corners. So now we can go ahead and finish zipping these guys up. And there's these two buckles. You can see they're crisscrossed. Those are the buckles you want to attach them to. We'll thread in, cinch down, side window, cinch down. Finish zipping that up. Again, we're going to make sure we're attaching our straps to the right buckles. And now we can tuck in the roof. And there you have it. The Rampage Trailview Fastback Soft Top. It's a safari top.